Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today we are not making soap. We're gonna make solid lotion bars. They're very simple to make. They are so wonderful. I use this bar all the time. Um, I keep one by my sink. I'm My hands get dry. I am down here in the soap studio working, upstairs in the kitchen, wash my hands a ton. And so I love these little bars, and I use them on my cuticles. Um, I At night, after I wash my face, I rub them around my eyes. <laughs> These are fabulous. So I will leave the full recipe and all of the supplies that I'm using today in the description box below. They're very simple to make, very easy to make. Um, one of the things is this great little mold that I got, and I just think it's so cute. It has these little bees because we are going to use beeswax in these to firm them up um, so that they are in a solid state along with luxury butters. So you'll see the recipe as we go. How I wrap them, um, I'll show you that process at the end uh, along with how I label these, but I use unbleached coffee filters and these little uh, two ounce tins. This is a two ounce tin that fits a one ounce bar perfectly. So when you're buying, if you get the one ounce tin it will be too small so we'll get to that at the flip side after we make these <laughs> they're fabulous so um one of the things i did a lotion bar video before and i used carrot powder uh, these are a non-greasy version there's a couple things that i do that make this non-greasy so that it, it absorbs very quickly into your skin and it doesn't leave that sort of sticky tacky feel and uh, that's part of the recipe well i had used carrot powder before and today, as a replacement of that, I'm gonna use colloidal oats. So these are gonna be an oat lotion bar. <laughs> For the fragrances, I'm gonna make a couple batches today when I get down here and get everything done. Uh, so I will be using, one of them is gonna be vanilla buttercream. Oh man, this smells good. So what I do is I take fragrances that don't behave well in cold process soap and I use them in other applications like wax melts, lotion bars, candles. So, you know, I get these fabulous scents and if they don't play well in cold process, we'll use them somewhere else. Another fragrance, this one does play well in cold process, but I really wanted to have a masculine option for these lotion bars. My sons love these bars. So uh, this is Amberwood, Amberwood Sweet. Um, from Essential Depot. If you've ever seen any of my videos where I use a standard size soap mold with a metal basket, it's from Essential Depot. Fabulous company. Go check them out. They've got great prices. Uh, their sodium hydroxide is a great price and they have fragrant oils. But this is really nice. It's kind of smoky, musky. It's definitely masculine. I, I pick up like maybe a little patchouli or just it's musky and woodsy. I love it. <laughs> I love masculine scents. So I'm also going to make a batch using this. So we will have, you know, the foodie sweet one and the more masculine musky one. Um, all that being said, I need to get my hair pulled back, get my gloves on. I need to sanitize the work surface. Everything that I'm going to be using today will be spritzed out with 99% isopropyl alcohol and wiped down and let air dry. Um, when you're doing lotions and things, you really want a very clean and sterile environment to work with. So I'm going to get my surface area all cleaned up and let's come back and make some really wonderful and easy to make solid lotion bars. All right, so I'm getting everything prepped for our solid lotion bars. Uh, and what I do is everything's wiped down with warm soapy water and towel dried. And now I'm going to sanitize, which is my isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to spritz everything out, the scale, any measuring cups and spoons that I'm going to use, the molds and this work surface, my stainless steel work surface would all get wiped down with isopropyl alcohol, uh, clean paper towel, and then let it air dry. So that's how I'm going to sanitize all the equipment. And um, I decided as long as I'm going through all this effort and I have all the ingredients out, I'm going to make three different batches today. So I am going to do the vanilla buttercream and I am going to do the amberwood sweet, this masculine scent. But I found this little sample that I got from Nature's Garden. It's called Honey Vanilla Love Dust, which is quite a funny name, but it smells fantastic. And it discolors soap to dark brown. And I have this tiny little sample and I thought this would be perfect in a lotion bar. It's just a scrumptious smell. It's, a, it's sweet, but it's not cloying. It's, it's yummy, it's almost edible. So don't eat your lotion bar. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna do three different batches today. So everything's clean. Now it's time to sanitize and I'm gonna get all my ingredients up here and we will come back and uh, start making lotion bars. Okay, 
we're ready to get going here. Um, I am measuring in ounces today. So I've got my glass container because the first step for me that I like to do is pre-melt my beeswax. So I'm going to tear this out. I really recommend a postal scale, something that goes down to the very smallest unit um, and is very accurate for soaping and lotion making and all of that. A really good scale is a worthy investment. Um, I got this as a postal scale. I think I got it on eBay a long time ago, so I probably can't find a link, but really any good scale will do. So this today I am using, I got these on Amazon. It's white beeswax pellets. It says that it's 100% pure organic, um, triple filtered. So they, um, these are very easy to work with. I have some home rendered beeswax in a big chunk and I do need to melt it down and put it in smaller units because it is really a hassle to deal with that big chunk. So I got lazy and ordered these. So I will leave a link for these down below. It's just a nice pure beeswax. I need four ounces of beeswax. And I like to pre-melt my beeswax um, because it, it's, it's got such a high melting point um, that I like to give it a head start so that I don't overheat the other ingredients. There we go, four ounces of beeswax. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the microwave and pulse them until they are melted. If you don't have a microwave, do a double boiler. I wouldn't put this directly on heat, but get a saucepan of water, put your Pyrex or glass cup in the water, or if you have a double boiler. Um, but I'm gonna use my microwave. Pulse this up, get it melted, and then we'll come back for the rest of the oils. All right, I'm back. Uh, and this took about a total of five minutes to get this all melted. Beeswax is a very high melting point, and um, I have to use a little pot holder. The container got hot, so just be careful when you're melting beeswax. It's a caution. <laughs> um, so let's move on. Uh, the next thing that I need is three ounces of coconut oil, and I am using this coconut oil I got from Costco. It's just an organic, nice virgin coconut oil. It smells a little coconutty, I love it. So I'm gonna tear this out. I need three ounces of coconut oil in here and this should probably be hot enough to melt it. Wouldn't need too much more, but. <laughs> so, sorry, I had to turn my scale. Um, I'm just telling you what I'm doing because of the glare down here. I've got the studio lights on and I need to be able to see my measurements. So I had to turn my scale at a different angle, but I'm doing three ounces of coconut oil. Three point one is fine. <laughs> That's you know these aren't like you're not dealing with caustic uh, material like lye. So if you're a point one or a point two over, um, you're totally fine. <laughs> so got my coconut oil in there, and now I need to do a combination of hard oils. You can use uh, mango butter, coconut butter. Um, I'm using cocoa butter and shea butter. Sorry about the glare. I've pre-measured these. I got mine from Wholesale Supplies Plus, but you can get them from many other places. Um, I'll leave uh, some, you can get it on Amazon. I'll leave some links down below. But what I've done for these luxury butters is you want a three ounce total and you can split it up. You could do all cocoa butter, you could do all shea butter, all mango, or any combination of the above. You could do all four. But the point is you just need three ounces of luxury butters total. So that's what I've got in this little cup. I have a combination of shea butter and cocoa butter wafers. And I'm just gonna pop those on in there. Okay, and now I'm gonna give this a pulse in the microwave to melt those oils down and then we will add our liquid oils to this and uh, get to finishing off these lotion bars. All right, got all of the hard oils and the beeswax are melted really well here. And this is pretty warm, so you, again, you wanna be cautious. Um, and now for the liquid oil portion. And what you can do is any liquid oils, you need three ounces of liquid oil, a combination. You could use olive oil, walnut oil, almond oil, really anything. Well, today I'm gonna to use a combination because I'm gonna do the amberwood sweet scent here first. And because this is masculine, I am going to use a combination of jojoba oil, which is a very light, uh, dry oil. It's non-greasy and unrefined hemp seed oil which is just wonderful and it's this dark color. So these bars will take on a little bit of a darker hue, which I love for this. 
uh, doing the manly lotion bars. So uh, I need three ounce total, so I'm going to try and split evenly. It'll be 1.5 of each. And, you know, we'll just kind of get as close as we can to it. So there is 1.5 of the hemp oil. Love this oil. And we'll do 1.5 of the jojoba. Bringing it up to three. There we go. All right, we've got that portion in. Now the only other oily thing we need to do is add um, vitamin E oil, which I think is wonderful. I put that in my lip balms. I love it in my lotion bars. So that's what we're going to do next. So I got this vitamin E oil at my local grocery store pharmacy section. You can get it on Amazon. Very easy to find. And it's just, I just do a squeeze. It's almost an indiscernible amount. So I just kind of give it a zhuzh. If you have vitamin E tablets, um, you could maybe open gel caps. You could open one or two vitamin E gel caps and squeeze those in there. Um, but it's hardly discernible on the scale, so I don't really have a measurement. Just a nice squeeze because it adds just a wonderful benefits to the bar. So we've got that all in there. Now for the <laughs> secret, not so secret ingredient that keeps these from feeling tacky and greasy on your skin. And that's a couple of dry ingredients. So let me go get those. Okay, so I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of arrowroot powder and a quarter teaspoon of colloidal oats. And they will just sort of absorb in here and you won't you know feel the grainy texture but they just cut that especially the arrowroot powder just cuts that greasy feel so nicely so i'm just going to pop it in here you definitely want to run it through a sieve and here's my oats so last time i did a video i used carrot powder in here because carrot powder has wonderful skin benefits also well i don't have any carrot powder and that's fine i'm using oats today <laughs> Um, you could get creative and you don't have to use dry ingredients. Again, these lotion bars would be wonderful without these. I like them in there, but uh, if you don't have arrowroot or I would not use cornstarch. Um, you could, I guess, in a pinch, but I prefer arrowroot. Uh, colloidal oats, if you have an oat allergy, leave it out. You don't need these at all. I just find that they add just a nice um, kind of a silkiness to the finish on your skin to where it doesn't feel greasy and tacky. So that is why I like putting those in there. So I'm gonna give this a really good stir, let them absorb. I'm kind of letting this cool a little before we add the fragrance. And again, this is a small volume. I would suggest if you're using essential oils, which would be great in here, or a fragrant oil, please look at the usage rate per volume of what you're doing. And usually any essential oil or fragrant oil distributor will have a usage rate calculator. So um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing today with this fragrant oil, but don't ask me if you're doing something different. You need to look that up um, and find out the usage rate. I don't know what they all are. They're not all the same. Some have higher and lower usage rates. So um, that's just something that you need to be aware of if you're making bath and beauty products. All right, sorry, my scale keeps tooting at me because I'm stirring it. <laughs> all right, those look like the dry ingredients are all incorporated. I am going to be adding 0.2 ounces of fragrant oil. Adding, let me tear this out and see if we can even measure it. So I've got about two milliliters in here. A little more than that, I guess. Hardly even registers. So that hasn't even registered, but I'm gonna smell this and see. It smells really good, and I do not want this to be too strong, so I may actually even go lighter. But I, you can do up to 0.2 of this fragrant on the usage rate. But that smells really good. You know, I think I'm gonna let it slide. I might add just a teeny bit more. I'm going to call that done. And I don't know if you can see here on my scale, 
it's such a tiny amount it didn't even register but you know what sometimes just let your nose be the guide and that's good <laughs> definitely don't want to over fragrance this so there we go that's all there is to it I mean I talked a lot during this but that's pretty simple now I'm going to pour it in the molds here and let me tell you with the molds um, you can my basement is very very cold so you want to pour these if you want to pop them in the fridge put them on a tray or something so that they'll be stable when you move them I'm just going to pour them here because my basement is super cold and let them firm up don't rush it just let them firm up for a good couple hours to overnight and then they unmold so easy I have rushed it before and I've you know bumped my little bees if you let this harden all the way they're so nice and firm they just pop right out and the mold leaves a very nice and distinct pattern so now I get to try my hand at pouring steadily <laughs> do my best at that without making any drips and that's pretty much all there is to it it's been a couple of hours and uh, this is the first batch that I did with the Amberwood sweet fragrance and so I just stretch these a little um, and they just pop right out I just put a little pressure on the bottom in the middle and there you go perfect little one ounce lotion bar and these are just so wonderful many different applications like i say i use it for a chapstick i use it around my eyes elbows heels hands they're just wonderful and these the little tins i'll show you the next step i'm going to get these unmolded uh, finish getting all my batches cooled and out of the mold and then i'll show you uh, how i sanitize wrap and label these in those little tins but they're the perfect little purse size too to just pop in your handbag or your backpack and have them with you All right, everything sanitized and ready to go for my first batch. I like to wrap them just one batch at a time so I have the labels printed. Uh, this is my finished label for the fragrance and the ingredients that I use. These are two inch round labels and they fit perfectly on the top of my little tins here and there's a link in the description box below for the tins. I get these labels on onlinelabels.com and they have a maestro label designer set up. It's pretty easy to design the labels because I am not computer savvy and I figured it out. So <laughs> at least I figured out how to do ones that I liked. Um, let me think, Katie Carson did a maestro tutorial a long time ago on her channel, uh, Royalty Soaps. And um, so if you want to learn how to use maestro, don't ask me. <laughs> I am so computer challenged. But uh, there are people out there that will take you through a tutorial. So here, right, let me just show you. I thought this was very interesting. These are the Amberwood Sweet with the hemp oil lotion bars. And these ones are the, which one is this? This is the Honey Vanilla Love. So you can see the different color. I'm surprised the hemp didn't come out any darker, but um, just barely a little bit. These are a little more ivory and these are a little more beigey. But anyway thought that was interesting so the way I do it is I get these all cleaned these are two inch round screw top tins 
and I take an unbleached coffee filter. You don't need a coffee filter. A lot of people will just pop the lotion bar in there, put the cap on, and they are good to go, and I think that's awesome. I like these just as a little bumper guard, and if they get any weepy, if you're in the middle of the hot of summer, I feel like these just kind of keep everything a little um, tidier in there, and it makes for a tidier package in there. So I take my lotion bar, I get this all centered up, and I pop it in the middle there, and it's kind of resting, and I just put push down kind of even pressure. There they are. And then, this is a lot of extra, so I gather my little paper and I give it a haircut. Just kind of go across the top there. And it keeps enough extra where I can fold it over and put the lid on, and then it just opens up. It's just such a nice little, I think it looks really nice to the packaging. I like how it looks. So fold it all in on itself very gently. Get a screw cap on there. And now it is all sealed up. And I'm going to get these all sealed up and then take my gloves off to do the labeling because I have tried with gloves on and I get, you know, my glove will get stuck under there. And so once it's all screwed in here and wrapped, I'm not worried about contamination anymore. It is sealed. So I'm going to get the rest of these in their jars and we'll come back and put the labels on. Okay, so it's time for the labels, and it's just as simple as peeling off and circling it on there. And that's it. And these are so handy. Love them. Hope you give this recipe a try. It's very simple, it uses pretty simple ingredients, and you can customize it in a couple different ways to make it really special for whatever your you know, needs or wants are in a lotion bar. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know how you like it. And have a wonderful day.